What's up Bandai Models? This is Strider Prime bringing you another edition of Bandai Models. And today I'm going to build a different kit this time. I am going to build this guy. This is the Kotobukiya's ARX-7 Arbalist from the Full Metal Panic the Second Raid animated OVA series. Um, it's not a Bandai kit of course, it is a Kotobukiya kit, but Considering that I have not made a title for Kotobakia kits, and I don't have that many Kotobakia kits, I thought maybe, you know, I'll just use the Bandai moniker. But this is a cool little D style kit from Kotobakia that I picked up a long time ago when Hobby Link Japan had a sale. And uh, it was something looking at. Was, I've been looking at the Arbalest for a long time, and actually it was one of those cool little mobile, um, not mobile suit, it was actually called, I think it was called an Arm Slave. Um, from the animated series, and I really think it was a nice, nice design of this. Interesting that the 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 mouth guard or the mouthpiece has the, the you know you're holding the 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 blade in the mouth, and uh, it had a shotgun instead of like any other uh, like the other weapons that other the robots had there, assault rifles, sniper rifles, and bazookas, but this one had a shotgun, and I think, alright, that's kind of unique to see that, but the overall colors and designs pretty much makes up for this kit, and uh, I haven't built a SD-ish type kit for quite some time, and I thought maybe it's time to work on this one. Uh, this thing, if I'm looking at it correctly, was 1800 yen, but I could be wrong. I know this was very, it was very expensive and they had um, a discount on this, so let's build this. This is just going to be a straight, straight build and uh, try all the cool things that this kit has. Uh, here's, of course, what it looks like in, a, in action. It's very good, well-defined uh, SD-ish kit. Um, very nice. Not much detail on the left on this side, basically just some uh, some random information. So. Let's look at the contents of this kit. Now, the last Kotobukiya kit I built was, of course, um, the... I think it was called the Broken Blade um, robot. And, um... Okay, I haven't done the Kotobukiya kit in a while. I think I have another one sitting around there. I haven't noticed it. But here's, to see, white parts here. We have some charcoal parts. And of course, the parts of the bull of the uh, there's two knives here, of course, and uh, here are more white parts here. I think the portions of the legs and the feet. Even though this has a lighter bluish tone, this there's a there's the overall is white and navy blue, very dark navy blue colors. Um, polycaps here. More polycaps there. I see the face mask here. This almost feels like I'm about to build a what do you call it? An assault kingdoms kit. Because all of it is all pre-colored and done for you. The manual. And some sort of leaflet. Oh. Of course, if you lose the parts, you can uh, order it. But here's a here's what it looks like in action. Actually pretty it looks like a decent little kit to make. The actual guide and the placement of the parts. And I see the assembly of the head, the torso, the waist, the arms, the legs, and then the final assembly. And of course, if you want to paint, here are some of the guides that you will require to use and detail the kit up there, pretty much. But we're going to do a straight build. It's been a while since I did a straight build. I may want to do another one before I begin painting a, a, new, a new kit. So, um, let's begin assembling the Arbalest as a D style and see what we got. So, all the parts you see here will make up the head and body of the Arbalest. We'll begin with the head first. And I will need ball joints. There we go. These little poly caps. Pull one out. Mm. 
shave off the excess come on there we go now using this put that in here actually no It'll probably be this one yeah because you're going to need this to put that in here This that I believe goes here, followed by this, it goes into this right here, and then slide that into place in here. Uh, maybe I gotta put this one on first. There we go. Then I guess we put this one on. I think I may put it on the wrong way. Hmm. Huh. Oh wait a minute, this flipped up a bit. There, there we go. Now I'll get that in there. Now, these little parts here, they're, these go in the chin, if you could see that. There's those that can be closed and those that are going to be opened. We're using the open one because we want to keep it holding the, um, the knife. So that, these two go in here. And then... We stick the little cute little... Ooh, this is the wrong knife. I pulled the wrong knife. That's all right. It's the right knife right now. Comes with two. One goes in the back, the other one goes in the front. But, uh... Oh, no, it's the same one. Oh, I'm sorry. Because you got to slide it in here. And then, I guess, somehow shimmy this one in there, like so. I think I'm going to have to pull one out. And pull, put this one in through here, then put it in like that. In the anime, the, the actual blade uh, attachment, this thing, pops out, so it falls down. So, that's what it looks like. Moving on to this, we'll need another polycap ball. Okay, no, no excess there. Put that in there. Then we will need this that goes like that. And then this part goes in here like so. Then we have this part, oh, flip this around like that, we have this part that goes in here, like this, I believe. Found by... Yeah, this. And then this. Followed by that. And, um, same thing as before, um, you know, there's an option to put these on. I think I'm going to put them on either way. Which is the, in the anime, for those of you who don't know. Um, come on, get in there. Right. This is going to be a little, alright, you know what? I'll put this on later because this thing is going to take time and I'm going to have to glue them on. So then we'll put this one in here. And that's what it looks like. And this thing's going to be a little loose, so I think I may have to glue it. 
All right. So far, so good. I just got to glue on those two parts, those four parts here. But what I was mentioning before, this um, the um, this robot had a um, a unique drive. I think it was called a Lombata a Lombata drive, and it gave it like extra power of some sort. It also did a, a things that that was beyond you know reality type thing. Those of you who remember the anime, wow, this thing's not going to go in, so I may have to glue them on. All right, let me glue these on, and then we'll move on to the next stage of this build. So we're going to now build the arms and legs of the Arbalus D style. And um, for this, we have this little part here. Now this part is actually one of two because there's one that has this little notch, this little thing that's sticking out was part of the Lambada drive um, things that were popping out like in the back of the um, of the backpack but it also pops out in the shoulder so it looks like this it comes with a part where you don't have you can replace it and put it like normal closed so once you put that on I'm gonna put this one on here like that. so that completes the shoulder the arm structure to go ball joint stick it in through here close it up like so and stick this one in here like so then take this take the, the hand put a ball joint there Followed by this part that goes over the ball, you have this little poly um, poly cap that you want to stick it in through here until it goes all the way through there like that. Then you have this part that goes right under it, so like that. And then finally, I'm gonna stick um, this like that. This one goes in there like so. So that completes the arm. The leg is a bit tricky. You want to put the poly cap in here and you want to stick it in all the way. Like so. Do not put these two together because this part will not go through and if you put if you put a lot of pressure it will still not work so you want to put it on first then put them all together like so the last part of course would be the foot itself so you want the cover of the feet here the ankle armor like that and then you put this one in there like so. Oops, wrong way. Like so. So it's nice and snug. There you have it. The legs and arms of the D-style Arbalus is now complete. Let's put it together. Okay, so this is pretty easy, pretty simple. Nothing too complicated. Put the legs here. I don't have to deal with skirt armor. And put the arms here. Like this. And that's pretty much it. That completes the build of the D-style Arbalus from Kotobukiya. You have the optional weapons here. You have the knife in its sheath. Kind of cool like that. You can go in the back like so. If it stays in there. There we go. And then you have the shotgun. Which in reality doesn't make any sense. Why would you have a shotgun where the inside is covered Yet the outside, on the, on the other side, is opened up. 
doesn't make any difference or make any sense. There we go. So here's a close-up shot of the D-style arbalist. Very good detail. The one thing about the D-style compared to SD is their their uh, manipulators in their body are a little longer and more. You could say flexible. You could say you don't see you know bendable arms by the um, by the uh, forearm on the um, D on the uh, regular SDs. You only see that here on these kits, but the detail is very good, I, and I, I kind of like this type of style. So far, the only thing, uh, the only models that I've seen from Bandai that's coming close are the NX Edge versions, and those are not models. I think those are regular kits, or you know, pre-built. But regardless, this is still a great-looking kit, and I've been fond of the um, the D style line for a long time. So this is actually my first try at you know, getting a kit like this, and if I get the opportunity, I would love to get, like, an Armored Core version, or maybe, um, I think there, I think there's even a Gao Geigar, um, version in D-Style. Um, I know Prime will probably scream at, scream at me saying, yes, there it is, get it. So, yeah, this is a really nice, cool kit. I, I would highly recommend you guys get your hands on this and just, you know, have a blast with it. On Arbalast, you could say. Or Arbalist. With that being said, I'd like to thank you all for watching this short, you know, video of me building this kit. And what can I say, but stay tuned for more Gundam models yet to come. You guys all take care.